Okay, I've been a little bit on like a foam head tear, as you can see. Why, why are you making that face at me? Do you, you, don't you think these are awesome? No. Why not? Because they're not. Oh, Max. Oh, Max, I love Can you I so punch it? much. No. No. Oh, Max, I love you. You're me. <gasps> She's okay. Okay, so today's Mermaid day five, and I have to do another project. Whew. So, luckily, thankfully, I have one more foam head. <laughs> Max hates me. Hates me. Mermaid. Mermaid. Why am I doing foam heads? Why wouldn't I be doing foam heads? What kind of a question uh. is that? All right, Mac, my, Max, my huge supporter, is going to be keeping me company throughout. Um, but I'm going to put this on time lapse because no one's got time for that. Okay, bye. So, yeah, I don't know why I can't stop doing foam heads, but I only bought three, and this is my last one. So, I think I'm good probably for life <laughs> after this one. I feel like three is probably three more than any human should have in their home. So, I feel like we're good. But you know, they are really, 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 really fun to make. I'm not gonna lie. And the more I make them, the more I realize like how many sort of all these ideas of where you could use them and where you could put them are popping into my head, right? So I just feel like they're they're more useful than one than one might suspect. <laughs> From store displays to you know headphone holders, sunglasses holders to I don't know they just like every time I look at them they're so absurd I just it just kind of makes my whole day actually so um, yeah think twice before you knock the foam head okay people think twice <laughs> um, this is the same napkin that I used on I think mermaid day two or three when I did that big big mixed media spread in my art journal um, and it's kind of perfect for you know, all things underwater, which is the mermaid. So I busted it out again. This is a third project I've used with this, this these napkins. So don't knock the napkin. Um, when you go see one at the store and you think it's attractive or pretty, you should totally pick some up because you never know what, uh, what use you can have for it. As long as you rip off the second ply, I think this one is three plies. So as long as you take off the two back sheets, you can glue them on as necessary. So I had no plan when embarking on this phase. Um, <laughs> they, all three of my foam heads are actually completely different. Um, I grabbed them at Hobby Lobby, has a, like a shocking number of, of foam heads. We have a brand new one. I don't even know, I think I'm just singing actually. And this is like my normal studio environment where my music is generally blaring, blasting as loud as possible. We have speakers kind of throughout our house, so um, it's very normal for us to just have our house be like bamming <laughs> music all weekend long. Um, and my kids are love it. We just, you know, we're all just dancing and singing around. Um, when they were little, we just used to have, oh, there's my husband in the background. Dance parties was kind of our exercise, especially before we moved to North Carolina. I was up in New Hampshire, and you know, those winters are long. And when you have little kids, um, <laughs> you can't really the snow is good for only so much amount of time when you have a three-year-old and a one-year-old which is when I, how old my kids were when we left and um, they were just brutal it was like six months of you know snowy hell so we used to just I used to just put music on and we'd have dance parties um, just for years and years and my kids also are not into sports so uh, dancing was always just kind of like our thing and now ironically coincidentally I don't think so they're actually all play musical instruments so I feel like you know if you're not gonna do sports you should do something and um, music is pretty awesome so I am down with that so after I uh, mod podged her whole head with that fish paper I just painted on I just had um, used some golden acrylics to paint on her hair. All right, this is the first time that I've ever done a foam head where I was kind of like scared of her as she came to life. This one was particularly creepy. I wasn't creeped out at all by my other two foam heads that I've done at all. 
This one um, is like the most realistic. Um, they're like the contours of the eyes, nose and mouth are like very real, which is helpful when you're outlining things because you can really feel, you know, the ridges for the eyes and everything. But this one is like, she was like, this is like a mannequin creepy, you know, horror story kind of creep. While I was doing it, at the end I actually love her. Like love, love, love. But while I was doing it and she's looking at me with her like dead eyes, I was like, Whoa, super creepy. Um, so I'm using Posca pens are a fantastic way to get into all those ridges and bumps and everything. You can never have too much Mod Podge. See, this is what makes me so excited about these foam head projects too. It's like all the things I do for the 2D projects, I work completely the same way for this 3D project. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you all. I think I forgot to stop the camera rolling as I like trying to dry her with my hair dryer. Obviously looking at my phone, blah, blah, blah. Um, I normally don't record when I'm when I am uh, using my hair dryer. But anyways, it's the same applications as I use in my other mixed media projects where, you know, I paint first and then I do the layer of Mod Podge and then you can use your pit pens on top to blend. And I was awesome. It, this is exactly the perfect application for it. Um, it just happens to be on a, a head instead. And I love this idea for the for my third or fifth day, or whatever the heck day this is, posting a day late. Um, I like ran out of mermaid ideas at like day two. So this was very fun and challenging to think outside the box. Um, and like how else, what other mermaid ideas can I come up with that aren't just like doodling another mermaid, right? So to me, this is like mixed media at its best. Um, a little bit of unique application. Um, don't knock the foam heads, they are crazy fun. Um, and I love now having three scatter on my studio. I think they're hilarious, they're a riot. It's really fun to put in, you know, and put into play the things that I practice and learn on my 2D girls to bring it to life on a 3D girl. It's just fun. So just doing some finishing touches um, of the hair, blending in the face, and bam! Come on, she's beautiful! <laughs> All but a little creepy. Still beautiful, had a blast. Thank you for watching, guys. I have no clue what I'm doing tomorrow, but um, I'm satisfied. And thanks for being here. Subscribe if you wanna see more insanely weird projects from yours truly. Thanks, bye.